see each other and do something kind of fun um, on Christmas Eve rather than thinking about what we're not doing and what we're not seeing. So here we are and we have a varied program and it might even vary some more as we move ahead. But first a big thank you to Lisa. Um, Robbie <coughs> off offered to do this. I offered to give her a hand and then both of us had a rough week. And Lisa picked up the ball and ran with it and we really appreciate it very much. So as we, we have a, as I say, a varied program, um, but I want to remind you that at the end, traditionally, we're going to light candles. Mm. And so if you want to take a second to go get a candle, uh, we're going to have candles all around and lit. And that will probably be a nice way to close off our gathering. Mm. Unfortunately, we can't offer cookies. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> but while you're getting your candles, um, I could introduce, I think, <clears throat> our next element of this program. I can't tell really how many people have our back. Do we have a quorum? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Are we up? <laughs> yeah, you guys are up. All right. So, Stephen, let me introduce. I'm proud to reintroduce Stephen and Nathan Wren. Woo! Take it away. <laughs> so, um, you hear, you have heard a lot about gender from and PC things from us lately, and so, you know, we thought we'd take a moment. Uh, we're going to read for you. It was the night before Christmas. But we wanted you to have the updated version as well. So I'll be reading the traditional version. And I'll be reading the, the more enlightened version to help us off. Here we go. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house. Twas the sleep preferred diurnal period before the non-denominational winter celebration when all through the dwelling place. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Not a light life privileged thing was stirring, not even a member of the species mus musculus. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. The gift receptacles of choice were placed by the designated location with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. In hopes that a culturally appropriate giver of gifts soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds. The people of youth were nestled all snug in their sleeping places. While visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. While visions of diverse comfort foods danced in their heads. <laughs> and mama in her kerchief and I in my cap. And the female caregiver in her gender neutral attire and I in my gender neutral attire. Had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. Had just settled our brains for a long cold seasonal nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I sprang from my sleeping place to see if I needed to call the local law enforcement officers to negotiate. Away to the window I flew like a flash. Away to the window I flew like a very fast thing. <laughs> Tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Tore open the shutters and opened the window. <laughs> <laughs> the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow. The moon on the non-binary gender chest analogy of the new fallen snow. <laughs> gave luster of midday to objects below. Gave them brightness of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear. When what to my wondering eyes should appear. <laughs> um, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. But a miniature cold winter transportation device and eight reindeer of diverse size. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick. With a driver endowed with age, but not stature, so lively and quick. <laughs> I knew in a moment he must be Saint Nick. I knew in a moment it must be the cis male quasi-religious figure associated with the denominational winter celebration. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. More rapid than speed privileges things, their reindeer they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. And they whistled and shouted and called them by name. 
now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. Now Runner of Speed, now Mover with Grace, now Performer with Fancy Footwork, and Fox with Femaleness. <laughs> on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. <laughs> on Comet, on Pagan Love God, on Donner and Blitzen. Um, to top off the porch, to top off the wall. To the top of the porch, oh, to the top of the wall. I read that in a very dyslexic way. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly. As leaves of low, low moisture that before the non-hostile extreme weather fly. When they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. When they meet with a non-hostile obstacle are drawn to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew. So up to the housetop, the reindeer they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. With the cold winter transportation advice and the Sismail quasi-religious figure too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof. And then in a non-binary gender twinkling, I heard on the roof. The prancing and pawing of each little hoof. The prancing and pawing of each non-sized and hoof. Went up the <laughs> chimney? As I drew in my head and was turning around, as I drew in my head and was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Down the chimney, the cis male quasi-religious figure came with a bound. He was all dressed in fur from his head to his foot. They were all dressed in, in the skins of murdered animals from their head to their foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. And their clothes were all smeared in a non-judgmental manner with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. A bundle of age-appropriate items they had flung on their back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. And they looked like an itinerant seller of items just opening their pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. Their eyes were twinkle privilege. Their dimples, how uh, merriness enhanced. <laughs> his, cheeks were like, or his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. Their cheeks were like roses, not that their cheeks being like roses are bad things. Their nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. Their mouth of smallness was drawn up like a non-violent bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as a snow. And the cis-normative male beard on their chin was as white as the cold season precipitation. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. Yeah. The stump of a pipe they held tight, uh, tight in their teeth. And the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. And despite the danger of lung cancer, the smoke <laughs> it encircled their head like a seasonal garland. He had a broad face and a, long, a little round belly. He had a broad face and a little round belly, probably from eating too much fatty food. That shook <laughs> when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. That shook when they laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. They were chubby and plump, a cis male normative old white <laughs> elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. And even though it was disrespectful, I laughed when I saw them in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head. A wink of their eye and a twist of their head. Soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Soon gave me to know I need not be fear enhanced. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. They spoke not a word, but went straight to their occupation of choice. And filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And filled all the gift receptacles, then turned with a sharp motion. <laughs> and laying their <laughs> finger aside of his nose. And laying their finger aside of their nose. And giving a nod up the chimney they, he rose. And giving a nod up the chimney they went. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. They sprang to their cold weather transportation, to their team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. <laughs> but I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. But I heard them explain ere they drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Happy non nominational season festival to all and to all a good night. The end. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did they write that? So good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that was brilliant. Thank you very much. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Our pleasure. Next. I'm going to watch a video. We're going to have a smooth transition to a video.
In just a sec. Hold on. I don't know if um, Mary Van Gemmert has joined us. Oh. I, I have. Can you hear my voice? Yes. yes. I, okay. I, I, I don't have the video though, but I'm, tell me when I'm ready to read and I will read. Right now. Aha. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. <laughs> this is it. Okay, Thank good. You, good, good, good. So I, I am reading from our, our hymnal and is. Um, uh, under Christmas and it's number 618 and it's called in this night in this night the stars left their habitual places and kindled wildfire tidings that spread faster than sound in this night the shepherds left their posts to shout the new slogans into each other's clogged ears. Mm -hmm. In this night, the foxes left their warm burrows and the lion spoke with deliberation. This is the end revolution. In this night, roses fooled the earth and began to bloom in the snow. Is that the end or did we lose her? That's it. That's okay, it. great. <laughs> Roses blooming in the snow.
sending in those beautiful pictures. I feel like we've been visiting your homes. Thank you. Um, I think you have a chance to sing along. Yes. Of course, we'll mute so we don't have to hear each other. <laughs> but I hope you'll uh, sing with feeling. Ready for the next one? Now for a little change of pace. <laughs> you all sounded wonderful, by the way. <laughs> and now let's hear the real story. An angel came to see me, Mary. She was doing laundry, and then the angel just appeared, and she was real scared. So Gabriel was like, Mary, you're gonna have what? I just I can't Mary, you're gonna have a baby. I you're gonna have a baby. You will call him Jesus. And then Mary was like, I'm not gonna have a baby yet. I'm gonna have a teenager, I'm not married. Then the angel Gabriel told Joseph that Mary is not 
lying. She, you are having a dream. And so they met up. They went to Bethlehem, which was Joseph's old town. They ride a donkey. <laughs> I don't know. A camel. Oh, yeah, a camel. She said, this donkey's fast. Well, they tried to go to a hotel, and they asked the keeper um, for a place to stay. The keeper said, we have no rooms. Literally, no rooms. So Mary and Joseph walked away sadly, but then he said, the only place in here in Bethlehem and that, that you can stay, stay is a stable. And then he just pointed the way and they followed. When the shepherds were taking care of the sheep, they saw angels. The angel said, a new baby is getting born. He was king of the Jews. The angel was singing. Glorious. And then the shepherds said, I think we should go there and meet him. The second, I think, said, yeah, I agree with you. And the other said, yeah, me too. They had to walk through a bunch of grass and bushes. Maybe have to camp out at night. And then the wife then heard about it. And then a star appeared. Well, we should probably follow that star. It's pointing down to the board. So maybe we should follow it. Maybe. So the wise men went to Jesus. They gave them gifts. A stuff in, like a hippo one. To have a... Some diapers, and some wine, and some milk, <laughs> some shoes, some Jordan. Gold, <laughs> and, and I don't know how it would survive in that barn. Too stinky. I think he probably pooped because the room was very smelly. Thank you for coming. He's adorable. He's gonna be our best friend. I love you, and you're the best baby I ever seen. There, I said it. <laughs> new baby is gonna change the world. <laughs> hey, Robbie, do you want to unmute it over there? Yeah. Hey, what did it say? It's a little like, it's a little like long history. <laughs> there oh. oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, Robbie, I was making sure you were up here. Yes. So uh, as she loads, um, a picture from the book. I'm going to read a celebration song, a poem by James Berry, illustrated by Louise Brierly. Okay. Your born day is a happening day, and one year old today, all day I feel a celebration. Everywhere is alive in jubilation. All, oh, all say welcome. And little eyes on me light up lights in me, in choral songs, in drums, flutes, and cymbals in a world praiseful and joyful. Singing dogs bang tins, cows play violins, fields and fields of animals dance, elephants beat drums, lions dance with lambs, hounds dance with foxes, snakes and snakes dance with mongooses, wild dances, palm trees, groups of children sing, all the trees sway and swing. With only one reason today, all out of season, flame trees glazed blazing blooms. Your born day is a happening day, a caller with good news, a day of celebration, a day of jubilation. But baby now, go to sleep, baby Jesus, go to sleep. I'll tell you your own own story, first how you began. You came here well announced, in one year, you have caused fears, visions, parables, and the calling of consuls. Long before your coming, we had very strange happenings. A mystery messenger said you would come to stay. I should be your mother. I should name you Jesus. In silence, in wonder, afraid to say yes, I knew I saw you, my Jesus. You were born so very quietly and so very, very simply, laid in a cattle feeding trough, wrapped in plain cloth, 
but in a grand company, messengers with no address announced you to shepherds. The shepherds hurried, hurried from sheep they protected to come and bow down to the little baby found. Then knowing your secret fame, wise men, three astrologers from a far country came, guided by a star to let your eyes meet theirs. And there over our roof, the stopped star was the sign to meet here and come in. The visitors bowed down to you with their many respects. They gave you their gifts and left you sleeping. Your born day is a happening day. All day I feel a celebration, everywhere alive in jubilation. You tried to open my eyes yesterday while I dozed, not liking them closed. Busy little hands, troublesome, they tried to grasp my mouth, my nose, eyes, I mock shout. Out of bed with me today, happiness, all day, music is in all sky in my head. Animals, people, trees, all say, first child, we want you for God's own child. In the sea, the fishes all dance, big fish, small fish, striped fish, plain fish. In a leaping out and in dance, in a leaping out and in dance, in one all together wish. All birds fill the sky, singing, flying in display, crisscrossed this way and that way. Your born day is a happening day, a caller with good news, a day of celebration, a day of jubilation. Margaret, are you ready over there? She's still here. Oh, there she is. Yes, you need to unmute yourself, Margaret. You're still muted. There you go. All right now, it's going to turn itself off, maybe. So you have to protect me. Uh, this is a uh, story for the children. It's supposed to be a story for the children. However, it's also a story for the grown-ups. So I'm just going to tell it really fast because it doesn't have any pictures tonight but it has a good story. I will tell it as fast as I can. All right. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even. Brightly shone the moon that night, though the, cro the frost was cruel when a poor man came in sight, gathering winter fuel. He was getting wood, kids. Hither, page, and stand by me, if thou knowest, telling, yonder peasant, who is he? Where and what his dwelling? Where does that guy live? Sire, he lives a good league hence, underneath the mountain, right against the foreign fence, by St. Agnes' fountain. Bring me flesh, and bring me wine. Well, never mind about that, kids. Bring me pine logs hither. Thou and I will see him dine. We're going to feed him when we bear them thither. Page and monarch, forth they went through the bitter weather, through the rude winds wild lament and the bitter weather. Sire, these are the kids now. Sire, the night is darker now and the wind blows stronger, fails my heart. I know not how I can go no longer. The king says, Mark my footsteps, good my page. Tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage. Freeze thy blood less coldly. Okay, we got to get that part. It's coming up. In his master's steps he trod, 
where the snow lay dinted. Heat was in, now listen to this, kids. Heat was in the very sod which the saint had printed. Heat was in the very sod which the saint had printed. Therefore, Christian men, men, be sure, wealth or rank possessing, ye who now will bless the poor, shall yourselves find blessing. Now we got a choice here, kids. Uh, did the snow really warm the kid's feet as he walked behind, quote, unquote, Saint Wenceslaus? Heat was there. Well, what do we know about that? The little kid was able to keep up with someone who's a saint so that his feet wouldn't freeze. What a wonderful story. But listen, there's two ways to look at this. Is this a big lie? Oh my word, it's a lie. There's no heat in the dirt. When the king walks ahead, the poor little kid, no way. Maybe this is what we call a big blown up thing. Maybe this is a whopper. Whoppers try to help people who are having trouble. Whoppers aren't really lies. Whoppers are things that keep people hopeful, keep people safe. So I'm not going to say that King Wenceslaus thing was a lie. I'm going to say it was a whopper. And bless you all. Lisa, it's muted. Jesus, he came to earth.
our turn again. <laughs> oh, let's see. Another reading, is there? Yes, there is. Judy, there is. Wait. okay, a reading. Oh, are we? Oh, I thought we took it out. So sorry, guys. <laughs> it's all right. Is she ready? Judy, Judy Whitney, are you ready? She's muted. Judy, you're muted. You're muted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I have a reading, and um, before I read it, I just wanted to tell you tell you something about. The, the writer. Um, this is Howard, Howard Thurman is his name, in case people don't know. He, um, he served as the Dean of Rankin Chapel at Howard University. And then um, he, uh, wait a second here, sorry about this. 
never, never mind. I, I can't find it fast enough. Never mind. I'll tell you about it later. But he was a famous Unitarian that, that greatly influenced um, Martin Luther King and others. So let me read his writing. Okay. It's called The Work of Christmas. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flocks, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feel the hungry, feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among the people, to make music in the heart. That is the work of Christmas. Really nice. Yeah. Really wonderful prayer. So Anne, I'm gonna ask for your guidance here. So um, this is, I think, when the candles come in. Do people do we light them now? Sure. Well, during silent night. And then it's the last thing that, that um, Lisa will do for us is bring up the full screen uh -huh. so that you can see all of us with our candles. And this is the this is the last piece. Um, uh, we thank you so much for joining us. And if folks want to stay after a while to exchange greetings, that, that would be fine. And Judy, you'll probably want to mute. I got it. <clears throat> cool. Are you gonna light your candle? Do you want to light it? Did we lose Leslie? Oh no, she's there. Sorry, Leslie. You keep hiding. Anything else wrong? <laughs> All right. So please join us if you'd like. Look all of us with our candles. It looks so pretty. Yeah.
So everybody should unmute yourselves. <clears throat> that was beautiful. Thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. I can't find well, it out. Oh, I'm not muted. I'm not muted. It kind of looks it's more like um, somewhere. somewhere. Halloween. <laughs> Yes. There. Well, it's like Halloween. I wave my hand. Like, oh, oh, we disappeared. We're, we're, I can't really? find us anymore. We're Merry gone. Christmas, everybody. Yeah. Thank Merry you, Christmas. Tanya. Thank you. And thank you for the lovely pictures you sent. They were yes. beautiful. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Earl. Thank you all. Yes, yes Merry Christmas. Christmas. And, and yeah, that so was terrific. They, I should tell you, Stephen and Nathan had about three hours warning. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Pull that together. Nathan had them though, right? <laughs> yeah. Totally disappeared. Well, thank you all. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. I got in the Christmas spirit. Nice yeah. to see everybody. It did it for me. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> It was a lovely thing. I, I, so I can't make it come back. <laughs> Leslie, thank you. It was beautiful. It was one. It was. Now we're going to go listen Sorry. to your Sorry. Can't make it behave. Okay. <laughs> See everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. 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 Yes, thank what? you. Lake Superior. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. No. Merry Christmas from go. Camp Verde, Arizona. Oh. Yeah. All right. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Tanya. Okay, I'm waiting. Especially a happy new year yeah. to everybody. Yes. 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 Thank you, Beryl. Join us on yes. Sunday for service. Thank you. Why are we out? Our angels. Our uh, I don't know why. You're right there, so those living up. It's gone. gone. I know. Mm. I don't know what here? happened. Anyway, I'm sorry. My alarm here. went out. Judy, you're still here. We can hear you. We just <laughs> can't see you. Okay, I lost my picture. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Look, can you hear me? Yes, Burl. Burl wants to say something. Yeah. Oh, Burl wants to remind you that two days ago was the anniversary of Laura Leonard's death. And I've told oh. that talk the whole year, and it seems like several years. It just seems I've been so many years without Laura now, but I thought, you know, maybe you could remember that it was a year, just two day, two or three days before Christmas. I know it's wrong. Thank you, reverse. Thank you. I know it's wrong. For reminding yeah. us. I know it's wrong with ours. It's reverse, and I can't make it turn around. It's so uh, we've got we're showing the back side instead of the front. Hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't, that's, I give up. I give, it's, yeah, give up. It's over. It's over. Yeah, I don't depend on it at yeah, all. Yeah, let's if let's just go. I can't, if can't you, even leave. If it doesn't work, uh, that's normal. You think we should go? <laughs> here we can see a picture of Bruce and Anna. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye, Bye. everyone. Thanks. Oh, look at the stars. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Bye. Thank you so much. Wonderful spending Christmas Eve with you. It was wonderful. Bye. Thank you, George. Hey. hey. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. I just sent you a note, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. You're so Thank welcome. You. You're so welcome. All right. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye.